Good afternoon, guys. Let's begin with the weekly analysis for this week. And uh, first, let's take a look at last week, how it panned out as per what we were expecting. Uh, we were expecting a bullish movement on Nifty. Uh, we do have a bullish candle here for this week. Bank Nifty, we were expecting the market to go up after the pin bar, but we can see we are still within the range. It's a bearish candle, so this did not go as per expectations. Axis Bank is playing at the same range. We were expecting an upward move, but you can see sideways movement on Axis Bank. So banking sector didn't really go exactly as we wanted. Bajaj Finance, uh, we were bullish. We do have a small bullish candle here. HDFC Bank, we were expecting upward move. It did go up a little bit, but has come back down and is a, in a range now. HDFC spiked up and right now is showing a rejection of the resistance. ICICI Bank, we were expecting it to be bullish, but price actually came down. Bajaj Auto uh, did as, go as per our expectation. It did go up, but has come back to the uh, entry price. Maruti did exactly what we wanted. It has gone back up, resuming the uptrend. ITC, we were bullish, price did go up, but you can see it got rejected, uh, came back to the entry price. Asian Paints was bullish, price has moved up. Nestle again has gone exactly the way we wanted. ONGC, we were bearish and you can see this week was a strong bearish candle. Reliance was bullish, you can see price has moved up on Reliance. Tata Steel was bullish. Here we saw the price moving up. It ca came back down. So last week we had a lot of uh, stocks to cover. Hindalco we were bullish but price actually is in the range and showing sideways movement. Last week was a bearish, small buy, bearish candle. JSW Steel we were bullish but price did make a new high and then reversed. Ultratech Cement price got, went up just as per expectation and uh, Z Entertainment, we were bearish but, but price actually moved up. Alright, so that was the analysis for last week. Let's uh, quickly check the market for the com coming week and see what we can expect. Starting with Nifty, you can see this week price has gone up, but then looking at the candlestick, right, it shows that um, there is not much of the much of a strength in the upward move. If you see the daily chart, we have very sh um, small candles all at the same price going sideways, right. So I'm expecting Nifty to actually be sideways in the current week. Right, uh, not not a strong move. Neither are we at a support. So I'm still expecting a sideways movement on on Nifty for this week. Bank Nifty. This is the daily chart. Let's start with the weekly. What we see here on the weekly is a bearish candle, but th that doesn't really mean that the price has become uh, direction has changed. What it is telling us that we are doing a retracement of this previous week's move. So we are about 50% of the previous week's move. And once we do check on the daily chart, we have an indecision. So Bank Nifty can again go up from here. No bearish movement signs, but not very strong bullish either. You can see we are in a consolidation in Bank Nifty. This is a sideways movement. So you can check, you can expect the market to retest the highs. Uh, that's what we're expecting. Uh, a retest of 32,400. All right. So that's about Nifty and Bank Nifty. Now let's take a look at the stocks which are giving uh, any signals for this week. Starting with HDFC, 
I'm expecting a bearish move on HDFC in this week. You can see the reason why we had rejection of the support followed by rejection at the resistance. So we can expect a bearish move at least till the previous support at 2366. Moving on to Hindustan Unilever. Uh, Hindustan Unilever, you can see the candlestick which is formed, Maru Bozu, after a pullback and from the support, right? So, you can expect the market to retest the high of 2191 very soon. So, I'm bullish on Hindustan Unilever for this week. Moving on to ITC. ITC is showing bearish move. We can back to back uh, rejection candles, but not a very big target. The target would just be the swing low on the daily time frame, which is at 2.33. So bearish until 2.33 on ITC for this week. Asian paints. Asian paints, I'm bullish on this uh, particular stock. You can see it is playing at the high and also showing good momentum, right? Price went up, went a little sideways, uh, expecting new highs on Asian paints. Britannia, again, bullish. You can see the reason. We have a strong engulfing of the last, uh, a lot of weeks, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, about seven weeks of movement has been engulfed. So bullish on Strongly bullish on Britannia. Right, so consumer sector looks good. Nestle India again looking bullish. Uh, it bounced up after the rejection can last week and you can see it is making a new high. So bullish on Nestle India too. NTPC. We're expecting a bearish move because uh, price is rejected at the resistance. So although we're expecting a bearish move, we're just targeting the nearby support at 114. And the last one for today, Reliance, uh, you can see price is moving up strongly. So the recent high at 1624 should be tested anytime now. These are the stocks which I have on my watch list for this week and these are the only stocks that I would be following because these are giving me clear signals, right? For intraday trading, I would go into lower time frames and get into the entries on the five minute chart, sticking to the same direction. All the best to you and see you guys next week. Thank you.